Hey y'all, welcome to Hitchman Homestead. Uh, we're going to show you a couple of our really neat built-in features for this vendor's cart. Um, we have some really cool hidden storage underneath. Right out here in front, we have the custom labeled for our client uh, storage box. If you give this a lift, slight lift, and then pull it out, you've got access to storage where our handle is currently. And then to put it in, it always helps to keep it kind of square and then just tilt it over to the angle at the last minute. Uh, we've got our custom key, uh, which you don't need. You can do them by hand or with fingers, but we like this. It just makes it a little easier and it's not going to mar up. And our panels are labeled B and then right down inside here, We've got our B. I'm going to go ahead and just set this down to the side here and show you the whole kit and caboodle. Uh, the panels will fit universally wherever, but if you notice, all the grain is lined up. So if you want her to look really sexy, go ahead and put it where the labels say to put it. These guys here are food grade uh, cutting board. Not really designed for cutting board, more is just infill. Uh, we can do our drawers at any configuration that we want. I'm sorry, our hotel pans. They just push out the store. Or, as you can see, we have hidden storage down underneath. set it up Oops. any way that we want to. We have found, uh, we have the 8 inch pans in the first two days. If you use 6 inch or 4 inch pans in back, they were, will clear the cooler, which is an ideal location right now. you want to get the ice storage for beverages or however you intend to use it. Uh, you can set this up however custom you want it to meet any of your needs. Go ahead and leave those 10 inch pans down. Um, so I have my label on one side my markings down below and to set your panels in. You just put them right back. There we go. usually easy to put the front ones in last, easiest. Keeps your panels from marring up. Then we're going to walk around to the back here. And uh, we've got our pantry. We have these ties on which facilitate the, uh, the opening and closing of the pantry, plus they look cool. There's just a little latch up top. And what we want to do is lift this and go ahead and secure the leg. And we can just grab that, get this a little push out of the way, and boom, we have access to the pantry, adjustable shelves, set it up however you'd like. Um, the entire pantry is made to come off if you want to use that configuration. Uh, it would be a two-person operation. You have to lift it up over these front keys and untie the six ropes on the side. And then it can move off and be used as storage or display. Close this. This just rotates up. This comes back on itself. And we latch it. To access the hidden drawer storage, just go ahead and take our safety rope here. And make it look like it's 
to part of our other rope. Take our little latch lift turn. This comes down, we want to make sure that this comes all the way down. Uh, now we have our storage drawer, which slides out a full 36 inches and has its stock. This will hold up to 180 pounds. I wouldn't recommend loading it that much. Uh, the cooler has a couple of plastic stops. You can move these anywhere you want. We have it set up to have access right under the six inch hotel pans. We can take our cool little storage crates, display crates, set them up for whatever product that we're going to want to use. And this one here I want on the bike so that you can deliver some bread. Just take our bungee. We'll just hook over the pannier rack. Give her another hook. Get that up just a hair. Cool. And we're ready to go. Uh, everything's mobile. Thanks for watching.